All right, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible day it has been here at the Change This Be Connected Conference 2023. We've had the privilege of hearing from some of the brightest minds in the industry, and we are about to conclude our second day with a session that promises nothing short of extraordinary. I'm Carolyn, and I lead the marketing at Chainsys, and I'll be your host for the rest of the day today. A little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any questions for our speaker, please don't hesitate to submit them in the question answer box located right at the bottom of the Zoom screen. I'll bring them up during the Q&A session. And if you encounter any technical issues during the session, no worries. Simply navigate back to the virtual lobby and click on the chat button on the screen. And we have our technical assistants uh, who will be ready to assist you. I welcome you all to this session on what role does AI play in data engineering? And it's my great honor to introduce our distinguished speaker, a leader who needs no introduction. With over 15 years of experience in driving business results through the strategic use of data and cutting edge technologies, he has consistently demonstrated an unparalleled ability to lead transformative initiatives. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to the visionary Amarpal Nanda. Over to you, Amar. Thank you, Caroline. Uh, wow, such a great introduction. So welcome everyone to this session. I know it was a long day. A lot of good speakers today, a lot of good topics. Uh, this session won't be that long as you, you perceive, uh, but I would keep it as interesting as I could. So AI and data engineering, right? So it's, for me, it's a very interesting topic because as data engineering was evolving, AI at the same time got introduced and has played a key role or is still playing a key role in data engineering. Um, moving to the next slide, I uh, wanted to share the agenda for today. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, showcasing how AI matured in data. Uh, it will show you some timelines. It will show how AI evolved through the entire value chain of the data from extraction till the consumption. The following, I would like to give you a very high overview about enterprise data management. How does it look like? Then navigate you towards how AI works. There are, thereafter, why is AI important? And this is a good slide that will talk, talk about how is AI contributing. Um, find, like In between, we, we are gonna talk about AI in data engineering, and that's where we'll go a bit, bit deep dive into uh, the aspects of data engineering, the steps that we follow during the data engineering and how is AI uh, automating it, creating efficiencies there. Uh, I'm going to also talk about the future, what the future looks like for AI and data, and close the session with some Gartner report that talks about three trends and a, a very interesting trends. Going to the next slide, uh, it's an interesting timeline, right? Um, I don't know where, whether everyone is aware. AI scales back to multi-decades uh, its 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 origination was around 1950s, and what was AI at that time? It was just purely a rule-based system. It was in, in a very early stage where it was giving some logical output, but throughout that time and till today, it has evolved. and And as you see, from the, from the early AI days, from knowledge-based AI, what is knowledge-based AI is where AI started learning the knowledge and using that knowledge, then not AI started using the knowledge to get the discovery out of the data. And out here, when you see the 2000s and 2010s, right? That's where the AI got really matured because they, they were the big data era. AI got the data to learn. AI was playing a key role in extracting that big data, but also the same data was used to make the AI matured. Progressing from there, and if you see, there are a lot of trends that started in 2010s and still existing. 
which is real time streaming you all know about how the streaming world has evolved let it be netflix amazon the real time business analytics the iot data right so if you see how the analytics progressed and at the same time ai started playing a role in data engineering so before out here ai was focusing more on the consumption but as soon as it arrived here it it also started extending its leg into how to extract data and how to make it efficient because data played a key role in ai decisions progressing to current world you you would see a ai in edge and iot analytics uh, we all know the uh, decision making has become real time it is very important that ai makes quick decisions for some of the industries for some of the businesses so the the technologies are there now uh the ai models have been started rolling out in the hedge they have started performing actions they are preventing lot of fear, fatal incidents in the very sensitive industry so and at the same time we all know we talked about generative ai uh, and how ai has to be responsible and fair and when we when we talk about responsible and fairness we need to think about what are we feeding ai with so the data quality and the set of data the data set this plays a big role in making ai responsible and fair moving to the next slide talking about enterprise data management and the reason i am bringing this slide because i want to bring a relationship between ai how ai is playing a role here so this is a very high level view on end to end data pipeline where the engineering is used to extract the data there's a transformation in between and there's a loading now loading can go through data warehouse for analytics or loading can skip loading can directly go into the target system we might not need data warehouse we might not need analytics but i wanted to get for the simplicity purposes i i brought this up ultimately the the message here is to how the role of data engineering the data engineering role here is to get the raw data and create a high quality data for the downstream use cases and downstream use cases could be analysis could be actions right let let's say we want to have a data when there's a oil rig and something has to be triggered some valve has to be shut shut down so how ai will create that shutdown procedure is is based on the data is is getting moving on to how ai i'm sorry how ai works i wanted to break down this let me hide the screen uh oh sorry yeah i wanted to break down how ai works into three big category one everybody knows about the expert systems and the expert systems are systems that has been automated they are intelligent at the same time they are working with high volume data but but at the same time we all know about machine learning that machine learning and people talk about making predictions how they do they make predictions by having deep learning and i have noted some some key points here right deep learning predictive supervised learning and uns unsupervised learning so what makes machine learning special the backbone is the neural network i know people loosely use neural network separately and machine learning separately but they are very interrelated and neural network plays a big role in uh, training the machine let's take an example of supervised learning what is supervised you are labeling something or tagging something to train the ai and why we do it because we are aware of the output the unsupervised comes in play when you're not aware of the output but the ai is helping you to identify the patterns or anomalies or and and present the relationships that's where ai is become ai become smart and intelligent where you have not trained ai but it was able to give you some information that could be useful to develop develop an output moving to the next slide why is ai important and i would like you guys to look at this cyclical or uh, uh, from from ai automates repetitive learning to ai get most of the data 
data. So AI automates repetitive learning. So think about automating manual tasks is one thing, but automated, automating repetitive learning has high frequency, has high volume data. At the same time, it has to learn while it's doing it so, so that it can handle uh, simple variations. That's where AI plays a big role versus just automating manual tasks. Now, the second one is AI ad intelligence. Now, intelligence is, is where I can relate it to think about you are using Siri on your iPhone and talking to Siri. So now talking to Siri, more and more you talk to Siri, it will understand your patterns, your behavior, your, your, your ask. So that's how AI gets intelligent. The third one, adapting progressive learning. We all know AI has played a big role in gaming industry. Think about AI-driven chess game, where AI learns while, while it plays with the real player and it learns through progression. So that's a progressive learning. Moving on to the analyzing more and deeper data, that's where I emphasized a lot when, uh, when we were talking about a timeline, big data. AI has available big data. Now we have to be careful there. The big data needs to be relevant. So today, uh, with the help of AI, we can, people are able to create multi-layer fraud, fraud detection, right? It, at one time, it was impossible. So now the input that's coming, could, could be coming from anywhere, can go through multiple layers before it generates output. So it can categorize the, the area, it can categorize what has been what has been transacted, right? So identifying that complete pattern and going to the deep learning or deep neural network, AI is about AI is able to detect frauds, detect patterns. Now talking about AI achieving incredible accuracy. Uh, we all we all have some own systems at um, at our at our houses. Talking to AI, like talking to let's say I talk to Alexa a lot. And I can see how Alexa is learning while I, I'm talking to it. It captures my uh, my music patterns. It captures what I like. Uh, it, it's also capturing what I'm purchasing. So yes, uh, it's coming into my, uh, maybe it's learning too much about me, but at the same time, uh, Alexa uh, is, is, uh, it's, it's making my lifestyle a bit easy. Now, Getting into AI gets most of the most out of the data. This is a very crucial point. Anybody today can access AI models. Every company has the AI techniques, but data plays a big role. The what makes competition or businesses differentiated is the data. The data set. What data do you have? Based on that, you can leverage AI to your advantage. So ensuring the data is clean, call high quality, it is, it is, uh, it is um, practical and uh, re uh, relevant to, to the AI models. At the same time, we have to make sure AI, the data is not biased. It plays a fairness role because a skewed data can make AI decisions detrimental. So that's why I took this approach of going cyclical because here the emphasis was data plays a big role. Now, again, we all saw enterprise data management. So the reason I'm, I wanted to bring this uh, schematic is AI layer on top of data engineering. So look at the two colors that I'm showing, the, the dark color on, on your left and, and a big of a lighter color. AI was heavily used in the downstream, like for the analytics purposes, for action making, decision making. And the data coming to AI, there was a lot of manual intervention and uh, it was a lot of uh, labor staff to get high quality data to train AI. Now, if you see, as we are progressing, AI is covering the entire value chain of data management, right from the extraction till the consumption till the decision making and and it's 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 growing then i'm not saying it's fully fully matured but it has started creating great impacts in my experience i have already seen ai 
making greater than 10 to 20 percent efficient and more impactful role in data engineering is creating more automation and and removing removing a lot of laborious tasks moving on how ai optimize etl so this is where a bit of a deep dive uh, three big verticals of etl is extract transform load so when we talk about abstraction uh, we talk about auto, we talk, talk about connectors we are connecting to multi applications multi databases ai has achieved a lot and played a key role in starting creating auto connectors it started playing a key role in auto code generation for connectors at the same time it has also started playing a big role in net network optimization it's helping you to identify the right services available on the network so the data discovery has become much easier and much smarter because ai is able to profile the data well while extracting it's able to characterize the data by, by using the uh, structures and relationships another another big piece of extraction is anomaly while ai is extracting it is also capturing the patterns it is also capturing the trends it is also capturing the uh, the accuracy the consistency right at, at that time it also identifies anomaly before when we used to do data mining it the an, anomaly identification was a very laborious and tedious task also using the tools available it used to be uh, still a tedious task and a lot of analysis used to go behind it data science data science uh, used to spend a lot of hours now with the help of ai ai because it, it's been becoming smarter it has access to a lot, lot of data is helping us to find anomalies adaptive scheduling this is also a very important point here scheduling at the right hours when are you going to extract the data what time of the day is or of the month is is right for the data to be extracted so that it is not is balancing the load so scheduling adaptively based on the historical learning ai does it for you and i already talked about auto connectors moving on to the transformation if you see it's a big lot of aspects or lot of lot of work streams that comes in transformation the piece comes as data quality now how is ai ensuring the data quality it's, it's contributing in cleansing it is contributing in standardization it is co contributing in ensuring the data is complete it is ensuring on the data enrichment now moving on to data enrichment the ai is i have a lot of third party access already database access it is public access so think about our auto correcting the addresses auto correcting the name of name of an individual or name of the customers right so you, since ai has been already trained on a lot of databases it has a potential to use external sources to enrich your data or you train the ai how, based on the rules that you want to enrich the data on third important is mapping now um, and mapping and pattern recognition is also related while, while it is recognizing a pattern ai is playing a role in suggest, suggesting mapping because again it understands the types it understands the attributes it understands the metadata so now data mapping has become simpler and of course you can always apply rules train the ai on the logics and it it will create automation but at the same time it will suggest mapping moving on the optimal transformation path uh, optimal transformation path here is when the data is discovered what transformation journey data has to go through before it gets consumed ai is playing a big role now in identifying the path for the data based on the data types and sources based on the data sets because the ai has become smarter it has, uh, it has been trained on what is the optimal path for a certain data sets to go through in order to get consumed uh, now moving on to the loading and i i will be a bit faster here uh, we are talking about buffering auto scaling uh, looking at the historical journey ai has are making decisions on 
uh, buffering and scaling uh, and how to scale up if, if the buffer is needed. It has identified, it is helping a lot when it comes to automated monitoring. It's helping a lot in identifying uh, bottlenecks. So the role AI is playing when it comes to monitoring and controlling is helping us or helping this journey of data engineering to, to, to avoid the buffering, avoid uh, uh, error handling. Um, also, AI helps uh, when it comes to databases. It is helping in partitioning the big data sets into small chunks, applying indexes because it's easier to process it. So that, that's another role AI started playing in identifying that big data sets, breaking down in structures, identifying the indexes so that the query optimizations can be done. And again, the adaptive scheduling, as you see on the extraction, on the load, uh, AI plays a big role in scheduling the loads so that the congestion can be avoided, so that errors can be avoided. So identifying the right time to load. The future, uh, I would not go through all the seven points here of the future. Um, I'm sure people are reading through, reading this through, but I would like to focus on three big, big topics here. The first one is self-optimizing systems. So AI, as it is getting mature in the data engineering world, has is getting exposed to more data, exposed getting to more domains, more applications, more business systems, it is getting self-optimized, means it's, it's, it knows how to self-tune and how to learn by, by itself. So yes, even today, it needs a lot of supervision and data engineers are playing a big role in supervision. However, the future that I can see will be AI by itself, self-tuning and, and self-healing without human intervention. The second big is item number four, real-time data processing, as we are getting into so much ever-changing world, the real-time data processing has become a big need. So think about dynamically making changes while the data is flowing in the pipeline is what AI is capable to do today at a certain extent. And as I can see future, it will keep on developing and getting more mature. Um, that, that it will be a big role so that we can get data not near real time, real time, and in a high quality transformed, not, not in terms of raw. Another one that, that is very interesting is collaborative data engineering. Uh, now, if, as we all know, we have Gen AI, people talk to AI, it produces synthetic data. At the same time, AI will play a big role when it comes to collaborating, collaborating data engineers on a shared data sets and that collaboration and the knowledge sharing will train AI to be more smarter, more intelligent. And, and that will be also a big role, how AI drive collaboration and through that collaboration learning and getting, getting, the, that getting the models more matured and more optimized. Final closure, uh, Gartner report. So the reason I want to close this with the Gartner report because I wanted to highlight three trends that Gartner reported on their paper. The trend one, it talks about cloud data ecosystem. Why it is important, right? We have so many cloud data technologies. But the, today, the challenge is we have so much of infrastructure cost, so much of administ administrative cost to manage these data applications or data technologies on a cloud. They are not cohesive. So now the, the, the trend is how to get all these technolo technologies integrated and cohesive without manual integration. The second trend, uh, as we talked about IoT, talked about edge, how can we bring this AI decision-making, smart decision-making on at local so that is faster and it can take actions at the right time without, let, without higher latency. That trend has been started since 2020 is doing really good. I, I've seen myself uh, in oil and gas where uh, edge AI is playing a key role in, uh, in operating the valve and also operating a lot of oil and gas equipments based on the data received from the field. Finally, data centric AI. And we all know 
uh, data centric AI is 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 already started. We have been going through Gen AI. It is Gen AI is producing a lot of synthetic data. We are interacting. It and that the, the, the interaction AI is capturing and learning it. So synthetic data will play a big role when it comes to training AI. And as we progress, AI will get better and faster and more smarter. At the same time, as I said, data that we have today needs to be unbiased so that AI can be responsible and fair. I would like to close here and uh, close the session. I would like to thank everyone who, uh, for attending this. Uh, Caroline, I'm open for questions. Thank you so much, Amar. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. move on to the Q&A session. Keep your questions coming in. <clears throat> Uh, we have the Q and A box right below. Well, I have a couple of questions here, Amar. Let me start with the first one. How is AI reshaping the skill sets required for data engineering roles, and what does this mean for the future of the profession? Good question, uh, Caroline. So, data engineers, uh, yes, AI is automating a lot of data engineering tasks, but what has came out of that automation or, or came out of that uh, impact is a, in data engineers has become, well, data engineers role would be more towards how you manage this AI driven tools in data engineering. It will, because AI driven tools will still need supervision, still need uh, tuning, and that's where data engineers will play a big role. At the same time, I think AI data engineers will slowly move towards AI data engineers where they would have to know more about AI concepts and machine learning concepts and, and also be aware, well aware of data, which in AI terms, sometimes people say features, the features that is needed to feed data, uh, feed AI so that, so, that, so that they are making the right decisions. So, I do see data engineers' role changing, the job responsibilities changing, mo uh, moving more towards uh, business collaboration and uh, automated tools management. Great. Well, I have a question here. What is the future trajectory of AI in data engineering? And what are the potential impacts on data-driven decision-making in businesses and society? Good question. So the trajectory, I still see the trajectory is very steep. Uh, it is marked by, it will be marked by more several advancements. As I talked about uh, automated data integration, I talked about uh, anomaly detection, I talked about uh, 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 how AI is playing a big role in enriching the data and transforming the data. So the, as a trajectory is long and it will be steep because uh, it, it has just started and it will keep growing. Now the second question was the impacts on in business and society. Um, yeah, put it. The answer here would be uh, AI on the business and society will be Move, move more towards being ethical, you know, how we can create ethical AI together. So, and the way we will do it is being transparent with what data has been feeded to AI. Uh, also making sure the fair data is feeded. Uh, the second the second big thing is um, AI will be, be, will get more and more personalized. So by learning your behavior, it will get more personalized in giving suggestions. Uh, also, the so several advancements, if you see AI is already playing a big role when it comes to data engineering and government policies, because it is already showing the impact of the policy. So in healthcare and government, it will, uh, you know, give you, uh, create a great impact if rightly trained. And, uh, and we discuss about uh, data engineering jobs, so there will be job transformation. So that's an impact on business and society. Great. What new tools and platforms are emerging to support the integration of AI in data engineering and how are they transforming the landscape? Good, so there are several tools. Uh, 
I uh, today I think of course um, being big, big, bit biased, I would definitely call out chances. Chances is definitely one of the tool that's playing a big role in data engineering in automatic data engineering using AI. There are several others. Uh, you talk about auto data discovery. We have data robot. We have se several tools doing in the data cataloging uh, era. We have Snowflake and the data data breaks in the data warehousing. So there are several tools in the market, and it's not which one is great. It's all about what is your need and who fits your needs. So again, going back to personalization, right? So every business is different. They operate differently. Their data is different. So yes, there will be some tools who are not fully matured to that business. There may be tools which directly fit. So it's all about applicability of the tools. Got it. And one more question I have. Mm -hmm. How can AI contribute to improving data quality and governance, ensuring that data sets are clean, well-maintained, and compliant with regulations? Good. So I, I only touched base on the data quality while I was going through my slides, but one big thing AI will do is called consistent monitoring. Continuous monitoring of data uh, would play a big role because that will also contribute to data governance. Um, uh, AI will definitely play a big role in data uh, in enforcement on governance. Um, they will. I, I can I can be very sure now because it's already impacting the AI will understand the compliance and enforce the compliance not only on data but also on the access controls, also on the workflows automation. So by right governance and by continuous quality monitoring, I, I do see AI AI will will have a great impact on quality. Great. Any other questions? Well, I think we've come to the end of the questions here. Awesome. What, an in uh -huh. what an incredible session we've just experienced with you, Amar. Your insights into the evolving landscape of data engineering and the pivotal role of a AI have been nothing short of enlightening. So now we've come to the close of this session and I want to express my gratitude to all of you for being part of this incredible event. And I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to Amarpal for sharing your expertise with us today.